It was all Huskies in the opening 10 minutes of this one. First, Brandon Howard sets up Jacob Lang with a nice feed. Then Howard gets the favor returned. Elias Thompson spots Howard out front and he buries it. Huskies up 2-0. But then with the Huskies already on the penalty kill, Lou Giesbrecht gets sent to the box for cross-checking and Grand Prairie would take advantage. The Kings score twice with Giesbrecht in the box, evening the score up at 2. Later in the period, Huskies goalie Johnny Bateman gets run over by Parker Godet. Bateman appeared to be in some discomfort but was able to stay in the game. Bateman came into the game with one of the top save percentages in the league at 963 and the Huskies leaned on him again. With the game tied at 3 in the second, Bateman was forced to make a couple of huge stops. Then in the third, after the Huskies went up 4-3, Bateman makes a couple more great saves to preserve the lead. He finished with 40 saves on 43 shots. Huskies assistant coach Todd Alexander wasn't overly happy with the way his team played, but was encouraged by the team's ability to grind out a victory. The fact that we were able to go out there and do enough to get the win tonight was definitely a good, good teaching point for us, but there's a lot of stuff we'll pull out of there and try to throw in the garbage can and go back to work tomorrow. We had some things to work on. We needed to clean up our defensive zone for sure. Um, Johnny bailed us out and met there a couple times, and we just tried to clean some stuff up in the third and outwork them. The Huskies got some help in net again with another big performance from Johnny Bateman. Both Bateman and Fawcett continue to play well for the Huskies, and Alexander said they will continue to roll both guys in net for the time being. Peter Houston, CJDC TV Sports, Fort St. John.